Do you want to learn how to create a piece of content or digital product once and continue to make money over and over again for years to come from that content or product? If you do, then you'll want to tune in for this conversation with Roberta Blake. Hey there, it's Rob Balasabas from the TubeBuddy team. My colleague, Alex Montas, and I had a conversation with Roberta Blake about how much he actually makes from his content and how much of that is through affiliate marketing. Roberta Blake is the founder of the Awesome Creator Academy, which is a coaching program that helps influencers and entrepreneurs build their brands online. He's a content creator as well with over half a million subscribers on YouTube and over 32 million video views on his channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer, so let's jump into our conversation with Roberto Blake. Yeah, thanks so much, Robin. It is good to see you. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, the world was very much in a different place the last time we uh, were face-to-face uh, -face in person. Uh, what I've been up to lately, aside from just uh, you know making content, spending a lot of time invested in my community, is I've been really focused on a lot of my business, even outside of YouTube with Awesome Creator Academy and doing the coaching and the membership group and supporting the people there. But I've also been doing um, a round of podcasts since the new year and also just uh, indulging in uh, one of my personal passions. You know, life's too short. I finally really went all in on wildlife photography. And so I've been doing a lot of that on the weekends uh, since I'm here in Atlanta. I have access to Zoo Atlanta and the Georgia Aquarium and it's been amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of your, uh, you know, photography and it's just good to see, you know, it's not just all about YouTube, you know, you do have, you know, these other facets of life. So it's awesome. Yeah, no, I was a creator before YouTube. Uh, I was both a video editor, photographer, graphic mm -hmm. designer, uh, traditional artist. You know, I'm actually um, looking at maybe even getting back into painting, believe it or not, uh, just it. exploring a lot of these different things that I had put on the shelf when I built my business and really got deep into the creator community and the creator economy. I, I like, I set aside a lot of my hobbies. The obvious stuff is setting aside the video games, um, <laughs> you know, to um, focus a lot more on my um, success and those endeavors. But now with uh, building my own team, getting some of my life back and really taking care of myself a lot better because of finding the healthier balance it's given me the opportunity to pick up some of where i left off in terms of my personal creativity that's good that's really good man. it's healthy it's it's important to have that balance we talk yeah. about that a little bit here as well so uh very good very good all right well alex why don't you take it away and let's let's dive in and talk awesome. about business here yeah roberto i'm so excited to have you here i was just i was just telling rob balasavas that i had to run two miles to get a mic <laughs> So I can be part of this interview today. I had to come into the office and I realized that we didn't have a mic. So let me tell you, we are working to get you here. We are so excited. And you know, we're gonna, we're gonna dive right in, right? Um, I love to know, and I'm sure our audience would love to know, and I think you've talked about it. You talk about it pretty openly on your YouTube channel. Yes. How much do you earn as a content creator and how much of that is through affiliate marketing? Mm. So it's a, it's a wonderful question. It's the question. So we're jumping to the T right away for everybody. Yeah. Recently on my YouTube channel, and people can watch this, uh, I made a video where basically um, I talked about how I spend my $25,000 a month income. Yes, I said per month. So in the year 2020, which I know was a difficult and challenging year for many, many people, um, emotionally, it was challenging for me, but not financially challenging, which was most people's issue. So why it makes it awkward sometimes to talk about money. You try to be sensitive to other people's situations, but I'm also trying to educate people. I'm not trying to show off or brag. I'm trying to show people what is actually possible because of the opportunities that the creator economy, technology, and different types of income building that they hadn't considered might provide for them if they actually just get started. I didn't do any of this overnight but I've seen a lot of people become very successful even in the year 2020. So uh, in the year 2020, I made $300,000 as a full-time content creator diversified across my six main uh, revenue streams or business models. You know, I have like, you could call them like income streams or income sources, however you wanna break it down, but there are 17 ways I make money, but it's really six categories. Affiliate marketing is a huge one, as you know, and TubeBuddy is my biggest affiliate. Thank you guys. Uh, 
royalty income from intellectual property, which is not just YouTube ad revenue, believe it or not. Uh, once upon a time, I also licensed a course to LinkedIn Learning back uh, when they just acquired lynda.com. And I also have uh, royalties that's super, super small from the music that I'm producing on my YouTube channel that's a music channel, Zen Buster Music. We also use DistroKid to distribute that to Amazon, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, so on and so forth. So you have affiliate revenue, you have royalties. Those are more passive. You have e-commerce. I have the product, the YouTube Starter Kit, uh, which TubeBuddy also helps uh, promote as well. Thank you again. Uh, so I have e-commerce. I have services through Awesome Creator Academy with coaching. And I also have a membership as well. And then of course I have brand deals, which is traditional sponsorship that you get as an influencer, but not just on my YouTube channel. I have brand deals for my live streams and also I have brand deals for my Instagram. Even though my Instagram has about 23,000 followers, I still do very well on Instagram because I can combine it with my other platforms. So you can see like, there's a reason it's like, okay, making $25,000 a month, sounds really great it sounds impressive until you realize well that's from like having like basically six jobs so that's oh. probably why uh, but affiliate marketing at this point i mean and that was 20 uh that was 2020 we're doing a little bit more probably close to almost thirty thousand dollars a month now average you know around there so now i would say affiliate marketing is somewhere averaging between eight to ten thousand dollars a month Five to six thousand of that comes from TubeBuddy. Woo! A third of your revenue is from That's affiliates, awesome. right? So, so yeah. it is, it's a big, is it's a big it, chunk. I'm trying to balance the diversification a little bit more than that. My hope is to um, launch, um, you know, create a template store, and then that balances out e-commerce a little bit more. Uh, there are other affiliate recurring opportunities that are getting close to being as lucrative as TubeBuddy. Um, mm -hmm. I have another, my next biggest affiliate is um, $2,000 a month and it's recurring, uh, you know. Um, it's not as generous as a commission as TubeBuddy. I'm a super affiliate with 50% with you guys. Thank you for that. Well, so my other ones are like 30%, you know, not nearly as generous. Well, th th that's that's really insightful. You know, we talked to a lot of uh, creators here and um, a lot of them have multiple. It just has to be that way when it's on YouTube and content creators. And to do the numbers that you're doing, you can't really do that all in like one bucket. Maybe you can, but it's very difficult. So it's not, It's it produces too much anxiety as far as I'm too concerned. Too much anxiety, yeah. And if it doesn't work out, then you're like left with very little to nothing uh, yeah. in terms of revenue, right? So um, diversification is very important. So all of those things, all of those revenue streams that you mentioned seem to be passive income. And so well, not all of them. Um, the coaching is definitely the coaching, not passive. Yeah, the, the, coaching the membership, is in my case, the membership is not set up to be product based only or content based only. It's active uh, with the membership with the Awesome Creator Academy Pro Group. I do um, a live Q&A every week and I do a live webinar training with uh, my coaching partner, Andy Rivera. She's amazing. We do that, um, you know, on, you know, once a week as well. So we're doing a Q and A every week and we're doing a training event every week right now. That's the way we're doing it on top of having over 60 hours of um, exclusive content. And we're looking at other expansions, but that's not passive like at all. We hustle very hard for that one. <laughs> the coaching is um, a lot of hustle and research as well and they were expanding into other areas. What I want to get more passive is the e-commerce side, the YouTube um, ad revenue side with expanding into even more YouTube channels and some niche channels that we're doing, some faceless channels, and then obviously grow that side. And then that stuff will be more passive. Interesting brand deals is creeping up to where um, if we go to $400,000 a year in revenue this year, it will probably be because of brand deals. Hey, Roberto, can you just just for our audience, can you define a little bit more what you mean by passive versus active? I'm getting that the active revenue is, is hey, man, I'm hustling a lot, right? I'm doing a lot to get it. Yeah. What would you define as passive, uh, at least when it comes to your revenue streams? Hmm. So I, I like to think of passive income as automated income is what I think is a more accurate definition for it, because people understand that automation, once it's in place, is producing and creating value for it. So what I think of passive income is a, basically a transaction where someone puts money in and they get value out and you don't have to be an active participant in that process because you built a system that allows them to extract 
value in exchange for dollars. So mm -hmm. that's what I consider passive. So if I buy an ebook from somebody, they wrote the book, but they're not having to work today to get my 15 bucks for that book. So if I buy an ebook or even a print book from somebody or an audiobook from somebody, that's a passive transaction because they wrote the book two years ago mm -hmm. and they're still making money today. So that is a primary example. That's a combination of both royalty income because of how they set it up, but you could also call it an e-commerce transaction. So it's either way, if I buy a digital product, if I buy a template, if I buy a course, if I buy a Let's Pack from Peter McKinnon, if I buy a Lightroom preset from Lizzie Pierce, that's passive income. They made that thing a year ago. They're still getting money from me today. They do not have to wake up to do anything to extract dollars from me. That is why it's passive. It's because it's an automated system where I put money in and then I get value out. So that's what I'm getting as a consumer. That's why it's a passive system for the person on the other end. So for me, I look at YouTube content can be considered a similar way if you're making evergreen content in either entertainment or education. A Mr. Beast video is evergreen. So he can make ad revenue off of that forever in perpetuity because mm people will always want to watch an entertaining thing, you know, like, so that makes sense. That's how the biggest YouTubers have done it that are entertainers is they made evergreen content instead of always hopping on trends. They use trends for growth and attention and make their name, but then they go to evergreen so that you can always just watch them and be entertained and distracted. I mean, Mr. Beast uh, Valentine's Day video where he gave his girlfriend like a literal truckload of roses. Everyone watched it again this Valentine's Day, even though it's a year old because oh. it's a Valentine's Day entertaining spectacle of a video. Like you see, he didn't have to necessarily make a new Valentine's Day video this year. So it, it's understanding these things. And I build systems around the idea of intellectual property that can be consumed passively. If people think making money in their sleep is far-fetched, try understanding that musicians, their families are making money while this person is beyond the grave. <laughs> like that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's legit. So. I actually have a video coming out today later um well actually by the time this video goes up my video will be up on how i make a hundred thousand dollars a year in passive income through affiliate marketing and i break down the systems some very generous shout outs to tube buddy i just want people to understand this that when you build things for a living those things will continue to take care of you even when you can't work yeah that's that's super exciting thanks roberto so, so listen, we just, you just told us about passive income. Um, you mentioned a little bit about your active income, right? And how you're hustling, how you're doing your courses, how you're doing your coaching, brand deals. And then all of this is adding up to $30,000 a year. A month. A month. A month. Sorry about that. So yeah, 30000 a month. <laughs> right? So rough <laughs> math, rough math is like what? That's like $360,000 a year. That's our current projections for 2021. Again, 300,000 yeah. was 2020. We've continued to grow it. A lot of my stuff has increased in terms of brand deals um, this year, which has really added a lot to the pipeline. Um, that was a big deal. But again, I have to also make more content and I've been doing that. I took a long hiatus in 2020 multiple times just because of mental health because 2020 was like a really bad year for people so yeah, yeah. myself included uh there were things where maybe i was not financially struggling but i lost friends and family in the pandemic you know wow. um i watched i'm here in atlanta i watched things get very bad during the summer um you know there for a lot of different reasons there there was a lot going on in 2020 and it affected a lot of people unfortunately a lot of people were affected financially because they didn't have any passive income or they didn't have the ability to do remote work i'm trying to move more people in that direction because again i'm not trying to brag or i'm not oh well good for you my my life sucked and i lost my job and this and that i want people to not be left without anything. I don't want people to have nothing. I want them to have options and understand that there's sometimes better ways for them. There's sometimes yep. better ways for them than just always grinding, grinding, grinding and getting very little from it. You can build yep. things. No, thank you. Thank you for that sensibility. But also what I want to mention is you said you have some passive income before the pandemic started that kind of helped you out and, and kind of allow you to deal with it. And just for our audience sake, how long do you think it took you to accomplish this, right? Like how long does it take, right? Because, you know, not everybody's going to be able to say, hey, I'm going to get $30,000 monthly, yeah. right? Like it took month. me years. I mean, uh, you can yeah. look at look at all my results, a decade of discipline. I'm 37 years old. 
I, I was, when I was 27, I was somebody's employee. It took me a decade of discipline to build what I have today. Now it doesn't, it didn't take me a decade to get to six figures unless you start thinking about when did I join the workforce? Well, you know, my first 10 years of the workforce, I was in, like, my first 10 years of the workforce, I was an employee and I was like making like 30,000 or 30 something thousand rather um, a year. I just say 30 because then 30 to 300,000 just is cleaner math, but you know, I was making like 30 something thousand a year when I was an employee. So ages 17 to 27, I went from making $6 an hour in the mall and, you know, exited corporate life in like at 30 something thousand a year to become a full-time freelancer and then build up into being an entrepreneur. Went from employment to self-employment to entrepreneurship and be having a team around me of friends and family that I employ. And so most of my you know friends and family, they work part time. My uh, contractors work remotely. I hire freelancers, uh, you know, half of my revenue. I'm not saying here pocketing in all this money. I spent half of my revenue uh, between uh, business expenses, largely payroll and taxes. I, you know, I, I paid like 40 something thousand, 40, like three, forty six thousand dollars worth of taxes in that. So it's not all just, oh, look at me. That's why I'm not sitting here driving around a Lamborghini or having a beach house or anything like that. I'm still being very pragmatic. I'm making up for the fact that in my 20s, I didn't have any retirement. So I've been putting my money into catching up to the amount of retirement that a 37 year old person is supposed to have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really yeah. smart. It's really smart. Go ahead, Alex. No, no, no. Back to you, Rob. Yeah, no, no. That's really smart. Um, I love that you're just breaking all of this down. By the way, Roberto, you know, it's yeah, uh, it's, it's like I love it. I love the transparency. Such an open book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I love it. Um, let's let's go back to a little bit of the passive income. You did mention, of course, you are a TubeBuddy affiliate partner. You're crushing Five years it. strong. Five years strong. You're crushing it. Five years I, strong. I, yeah, yeah, five years strong, and uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to give the numbers because you're already giving I your will. numbers, so I love it. I will. I, I really appreciate five that. years, three hundred thousand dollars with Tube Buddy. Five years, three hundred thousand dollars with Tube Buddy. Five to six thousand dollars a month of recurring revenue, which is a sixty to seventy thousand dollar a year affiliate from Tube Buddy alone. Uh, Kajabi, I'm up to about um, between eighteen hundred and two thousand there. So if you look at that, that's about another twenty thousand dollars a year right off that. And I have other affiliate programs besides that. So that's where you get to eighty or ninety thousand right there. So my numbers on a hundred thousand dollars a year in passive income from affiliate alone is not an exaggeration. And then remember, I still have e-commerce on top of that. YouTube Starter Kit averages about twenty thousand dollars a year as a ninety-nine dollar product, even with coupons and even with us giving away $10,000 worth of YouTube starter kits in our charity live stream for our good friend Owen Video. We gave away 100 YouTube starter kits, $99 value. So we gave away that plus some coaching from me. We gave away $10,000 of value from my business to raise money to help my best friend, like one of my best friends in the entire world with uh, cancer treatment, you know? Um, and thank you, by the way, for TubeBuddy for also supporting that live stream and supporting Owen and everything you guys do. So, you know, it's a business, but you can do things right. I hate people taking shortcuts and doing get rich quick streams. I'm transparent because I want people to understand they can do this and they can do it within their values. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's so uh, and, and we will we will share a link to, you know, Owen's GoFundMe. So, yeah, I mean, the, you're yeah, so generous thank you for that. and all the things that you're doing, um, you know, as the uh, affiliate and, you know, uh, partnership manager here, I need to ask you because there's going to be a lot of affiliates, uh, partners that are listening to this. How yeah. are how have you been growing your TubeBuddy affiliate revenue? Like, how have you been driving people to the link? That's what everybody wants to know. Yeah. Right? So. Well, TubeBuddy also generously is a sponsor of the channel. And so TubeBuddy has helped with the sponsorship along with um, StreamYard of my live streams that I do with my friend Viper. And we do YouTube channel reviews for small YouTubers. So in my case, by having a long live stream where we have um, a wonderful sponsor, multiple wonderful sponsors, and we're able to also show the tool being used a lot during those live streams, it's show and tell. So we actually get to do a demo of the product in the live streams. We usually do those on the weekends as long as we're not too tired from the week. Cause you know, we're trying to also take care of our physical and mental health. But when me and Viper do these long live streams, they're usually over two or three hours. We're sitting here reviewing multiple YouTube channels. We're able to get people to not only use the free version of TubeBuddy, but a lot of people end up using the paid version when they see the feature set. And so that's massively helpful. I promote it 
in terms of uh, previous tutorials that I've made, I've probably made maybe 50 different videos that have promoted uh, TubeBuddy verbally directly over the years. And those are evergreen videos that help anyone who wants to be a YouTube content creator. When I make my videos that really show beginners practical things they can do, I make it make sense for them. And I tell them that they could just use the free version of TubeBuddy and get very far. Now those free signups do eventually, a lot of them convert to paid signups. When that happens, there go the affiliate commissions. So promoting the free version of TubeBuddy and letting people see for themselves with no risk, that's a huge, huge benefit. Another one is getting people to understand which plans are the best for them. I do a lot of Twitter Q and A's and I actually answer people's questions and I help them pick the right thing for them. Not the best thing for my affiliate commissions, but the right thing for them. So that's a big help. It doesn't feel scalable, but it's actually not a large amount of my time to sit there for 20 or 30 minutes in Twitter and answer questions and then provide resources if it's actually going to help people. And that scales because if they do end up using it, then it's recurring revenue. And beyond that, other people that uh, are not directly asking that question are seeing what's happening and maybe they click or maybe they get value too. So you just never know. The other thing is I have um, email automations with my email marketing as well and a lot of freebies. I made the ultimate YouTube software guide as a PDF. And so a lot of people grab that for free and there are a lot of different uh, recommendations and affiliate links there, but TubeBuddy is there as well. Uh, there are other things I'm working on in terms of PDF decks that I'm making with Canva that are going to be like actual free PDF presentation decks that just walk you through certain processes and understanding things and basically function as guides. And they're, they're things I could charge for. And by giving them away for free and creating value, I'm going to be able to drive a lot of affiliate commissions and sales for TubeBuddy and then other partners like StreamYard, uh, you know, and so on. So it's going to be massively helpful to the community first, which is important yeah. then because if it is useful, they will end up using the tool. I believe you get traffic. How do you get traffic? You get traffic by creating something that's meaningful, useful, and value. And you can create traffic either through search engine optimization, which TubeBuddy generously helps with. Sign up for TubeBuddy today for free using my link. And then you also see what I did. And then you also have social media itself. So you can either scale that with content or direct social media interactions, DMs, uh, direct conversations in real time, public, so on and so forth. You could also use paid media marketing if the terms of service if, of the affiliate program that you're in allows for that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if TubeBuddy still allows for uh, paid traffic in terms of um, to bolster affiliates um, in the terms of service. I don't fully recall. So everyone should read the terms of service. But <laughs> you guys can answer it here, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could, I could answer that real quick. We yeah. are constantly like updating and changing our terms of services specifically when it comes to paid and as of today we're still allowing people to do you know paid advertising what we're not allowing is in a specific is for you to use our tube buddy keyword on paid search because you're effectively competing against us but outside of that uh, but they could you use youtube to... seo they could use youtube seo they could use video seo yep. they, they could, could use, use rank that. first in youtube they could and then and then if you want to like boost your own video right on on wherever on youtube facebook instagram I think you mentioned Twitter. If you want to put some pay behind that, go ahead. You know, we'll be, you know, happy for you to do that. So I know that that is an extra way for you to promote your affiliate links, specifically from a paid standpoint that, you know, shows you to more people. Right. So now I'm not doing paid uh, with that to scale my affiliate right now. But here's mm -hmm. the thing. It would make sense if I wanted to, because I could sit there, I'm making $5,000 a month. What mm -hmm. would be so wrong with taking 500 of that 5,000, let's take 10% off the top and say, okay, I'm gonna buy ads. Like, and I'm just gonna make something super valuable and scale it with ads. And that could be either um, using that to boost um, some type of standalone tutorial 
Mm -hmm. or I could use it to boost something that also gets me an email capture of, hey, grab this like free PDF. Here's a 30 page deck on YouTube SEO and how to rank and so on and so forth. And it's absolutely free. I just need your email. And then what do I do? I have TubeBuddy featured prominently in it. It makes total sense. I recommend the free version. I tell them a comparison of what they get with a uh, free uh, pro star legend and it just works. That would be an answer. That would be an option. Yeah, giving yeah. away my secrets here, but whatever. <laughs> hey, man, if I was gonna do paid, that's how I'd do it. There yeah, you and honestly, um, you know, I, I think it would be really interesting for for you to test it out. And if not, we can test it out together. Cool. Um, Sounds you like know, a plan given to me. that that I also have a, a small, you know, paid media budget. Um, you know, and, and let's see, and maybe we can tell people, Hey, this is something that worked, <laughs> you know? So, well, you know what? I'm down. I'm a hundred percent down for this experiment and mm -hmm. we can actually then, and then we get content out of it. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's do that. So we'll, we'll have a, a quick touch base after this meeting is over. And we'll monetize the content. We'll monetize <laughs> it and you know, we'll, we'll give that a try. So, uh, you guys heard it here first. We're going to give that is. a try. You may see some ads with Roberto Blake. To everybody, yeah. um, and um, and you know we're we're gonna we're gonna see how that works, and we're gonna let you know whether that increase, um, and at the very least is gonna this is a thing, bro. It's gonna get you some impressions. It's gonna get you some emails. Is or right like at the very least you're gonna get a higher share of impressions, right? So it's not yes. all affiliate revenue. You are gonna get a different amount of things, you know, coming in because at the end of the day you're adding value, and that's kind of what exactly. matters to everybody involved and in exactly it. and that's where it starts that's why i keep saying that like my money triangle theory is all down to my money triangle theory something i talk about on the channel something we teach in awesome creator academy is traffic trust and transaction and that's and that's how business whether it's active or passive income works awesome awesome uh well not more follow-ups to that um rob b anything else no, this has been really, really good. Uh, Roberto, thank you so much. Um, where can people find you other than YouTube about, you know, growing their channels, their businesses, uh, your podcast, and even if they maybe want to work with you directly, where where's the best place to go? Uh, so for one thing, they can absolutely also, if they need a little bit of motivation, some also some common sense about, you know, working hard, sustainably and not burning out they can definitely check out my instagram i would love that um happy to connect over there so it's at roberto blake and then if they want to work with me they can go to awesomecreatoracademy.com we have a lot of great options whether you want to do the pro membership group or whether you want to work with me directly awesomecreatoracademy.com coaching so yeah um we love helping people transition into being full-time creators we like helping full-time creators scale that's what we're really there to serve if someone's an absolute beginner i tell them just watch my free youtube content they don't have to spend money they can just watch my free youtube content if they're an absolute beginner and they should really focus on uh specifically three videos my youtube basics video my video on getting your first 1,000 subscribers and my video on exactly how to get 4,000 hours of watch time. And I mean exactly how to get 4,000 hours of watch time. I'm not even kidding. And I actually am at um, 4,000 hours, but 3,300 hours of qualifying for monetization on a new channel, a faceless channel that I started at the beginning of this year. Wow. Amazing. 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 Well, Roberto, this is this is definitely not the last time that you're going to be on this show. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you I for mean, having me. Yeah, me and Alex learned a lot here and I'm sure our audience did as well. So we will talk to you very soon. Uh, Alex, take it home. No, uh, Roberto, thanks again. I mean, you are always adding value. Um, and even as you ended that, that last question, you added exact videos that people can watch. So there is something to learn about that. But more importantly, I'll just say it, you know, from my own vantage point of view, you just always keep it real. You're always so authentic. And, um, you know, all of us, your audience, myself, Rabbi, you know, really enjoy that. So now to bring it home, if you like this conversation, make sure to give us a like, make sure to follow us, but also do know that we have other excellent content in this channel. We have other amazing interviews with either Pat Shadow, Marisa Romero, a whole host of other people. We're going to have some end cards here for you to click on. So if you want to keep on learning, please make sure to do that. 
And on behalf of myself and my co-host, Rob Balasaba, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video.